we're here today, it's about 5.30 in the morning in Vancouver. I'm up so early because I'm going to my favourite sandwich shop in the town. Um, I'm going to learn their secret when it comes to their porchetta. Nick? Yeah. How you doing? But you're going to score it, take some fat off, put the stuffing in, roll it. Essentially, yeah. Just in the area where the pork's gonna go up with the belly. Okay. So that all the skin, when it's done, is exposed to the air on the outside yes. and you get the nice crisp skin. Got it. Got so it. now it's just nice and rolled up. For this excess skin on the side, we put it in the oven as well, just so we have enough uh, crispy skin for all the, the customers. So all we do is we just trim off the excess. the excess fat. You can never have enough. Pork skin, right? No, never. <laughs> I was just going to meet and bread, I walked past and I was just like, saw the sign and was like, okay, something special. Because it's it's a commitment to simplicity in a way. It just lets the sandwiches sing, it lets things be amazing. You know, is that a conscious decision? Yeah, I think less has always been more for us. Um, try to keep the menu simple as we can so that when we get into service, one, we can be quick and serve a lot of people, but still maintain a really good quality sandwich so that people are always happy with. Yeah. And, and like, there's some real sort of rock stars on the menu, isn't there? Yeah, so the, some of the other sandwiches we have that are most popular are the meatball. We've had also on the menu at the very beginning, that which uh, the buffalo chicken has always been one of our most popular daily specials. So what does it, typical lunch time, what's it like? Uh, usually when we open the door we have a small lineup, a mini rush of people trying to beat, beat the lineup so we serve all those customers and then the real lunch starts. And, uh, once that starts it's usually a lineup through the door or even out the door at, at many of our locations and it's just keep chopping, keep chopping, keep building sandwiches. We break down the service line almost an assembly line system so that customers can get great service and the sandwiches are always done perfectly. On the busy days, we can go up to 400 sandwiches. If we do special events or extra features, that can be over 600. Yeah. I think that's what I loved when I walked in here, was that from a chef's point of view, I could just see like the well-oiled machine yeah. behind where everybody's like ticking and just getting stuff done. And the customer might not necessarily understand that. They just get this amazing product, right? Great quality, super quick, and it's just bang, bang, bang. I like that feels good, right? Uh, it's something to be proud of for sure. Yeah. I see, I mean, you see when people join the line and the porchetta is being carved behind us here, and 
people come in with, they see the four items on the menu, but once they see you carving the porchetta and make it from scratch, it ends up being half of our sales. Yeah. Everyone sees. So yeah. It's more, once people have had the porchetta a couple of times, they'll finally be willing to, to branch away yeah. and try some other things. <laughs> they're always happy, they're always surprised how we're all of our food is, not just the porchetta. I, I'm with you, but I'm still yet to branch away from the porchetta. Every time I come in, I see it carved, I'm like, I take two of those. Oh wow, that just looks fucking incredible. serious cooking like that right there is just an absolute work of art every piece of it is thought through and done to its high standard like that i don't know a chef who would not think that's a work of art how is it <laughs> best porchetta sandwich i've ever had i appreciate it apart from my own obviously <laughs> Nick, thanks so much, mate. It was absolutely amazing. Thank you. You're welcome anytime. Thanks, brother.